Good day. Welcome to St. Aloysius. Our clergy at St. Aloysius would encourage you to participate in the Stations of the Cross this Lent. This Lent is very difficult for all of us because of the COVID-19 disease. However, we prepared these very special stations for you, which is different from the normal stations that you have in this church that surrounds us here, the 14 stations. The stations that we will go through today are based on scripture, and they're very beautiful, and they're very comforting and helpful to us in this Lenten period. So we ask you to listen as best you can and participate as we go through the stations. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, amen. God of power and mercy, in love you sent your Son that we might be cleansed of sin and live with you forever. Bless us now as we gather to reflect on his suffering and death, that we may learn from his example the way we should go. We ask this through that same Christ our Lord. Amen. Through her heart his sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing. Now at length the sword has passed. The first station, Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Then Jesus came with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took along Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to feel sorrow and distress. Then he said to them, My soul is sorrowful, even to death. Remain here and keep watch with me. He advanced a little and fell prostrate in prayer, saying, My Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet not as I will, but as you will. When he returned to his disciples, he found them asleep. He said to Peter, So you could not keep watch with me for one hour? Watch and pray that you may not undergo the test. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Let us pray. Lord, grant us your strength and wisdom that we may seek to follow you, your will, in all things. Lord Jesus, help us walk in your steps. Is there one who would not weep? Whelmed in misery so deep, Christ, dear mother, to behold. The second station, Jesus is betrayed by Judas and is arrested. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Then while Jesus was speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived accompanied by a crowd with swords and clubs, who had come from the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders. His betrayer had arranged a signal with them, saying, The man I shall kiss is the one. Arrest him and lead him away securely. He came and immediately went over to him and said, Rabbi, and he kissed him. At this they laid hands on him and arrested him. Let us pray. Lord, grant us the courage of our convictions that our lives may faithfully reflect the good news you bring. Lord Jesus, help us walk in your steps. Can the human heart refrain from partaking in her pain? In that mother's pain untold. The third station. Jesus is condemned to death by the Sanhedrin. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When day came, the council of elders of the people met, both chief priests and scribes, and they brought him before the Sanhedrin. They said, 
If you are the Messiah, tell us. But he replied to them, If I tell you, you will not believe, and if I question, you will not respond. But from this time on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand of the power of God. They all asked, Are you then the Son of God? He replied to them, You say that I am. Then they said, What further need have we for testimony? We have heard it from his own mouth. Let us pray. Lord, grant us your sense of righteousness that we may never seek to work to bring about the justice of the kingdom that you promised. Lord Jesus, help us walk in your steps. Let us mingle tears with thee, mourning him who mourned for me. All the days that I may live. The fourth station. Jesus is denied by Peter. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. One of the maids came over to him and said, You too were with Jesus the Galilean. But he denied it in front of everyone, saying, I do not know what you are talking about. As he went out to the gate, another girl saw him and said to those who were there, this man was Jesus the Nazarene. Again, he denied it with an oath. I do not know the man. A little later, the bystanders came over and said to Peter, surely you too are one of them. Even your speech gives you away. At that, he began to curse and to swear, I do not know the man. And immediately, a cock crowed. Then Peter remembered the word that Jesus had spoken. Before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. He went out and began to weep bitterly. Let us pray. Lord, grant us the gift of honesty, that we may not fear to speak the truth, even when difficult. Be to me, O virgin I, lest in flames I burn and die in his awful judgment day. The fifth station, Jesus is judged by Pilate. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The chief priests with the elders and the scribes, that is, the whole Sanhedrin, held a council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate questioned him, are you the king of the Jews? He said to him in reply, you say so. The chief priest accused him of many things. Again, Pilate questioned him, have you no answer? See how many things they accuse you of. And Jesus gave him no further answer, so that Pilate was amazed. Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas and handed Jesus over to be crucified. Let us pray. Lord, grant us discernment that we may see as you see, not as the world sees. Lord Jesus, help us walk in your steps. Bruise derided, curse defiled, she beheld her tender child, all with bloody scourges rent. The sixth station, Jesus is scourged and crowned with thorns. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Then Pilate took Jesus and had him scourged, and the soldiers wove a crown out of thorns and placed it on his head, and clothed him in a purple cloak, and they came to him and said, Hail, King of the Jews, and they struck him repeatedly. Let us pray. Lord, grant us patience in times of suffering, that we may offer our lives as a sacrifice of praise. Lord Jesus, help us walk in your steps. Holy Mother, pierce me through, 
in my heart each wound renew of my Savior crucified. The seventh station, Jesus bears his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When the chief priests of the gods saw Jesus, they cried out, Crucify him! Crucify him! And Pilate said to them, Take him yourselves and crucify him. I find no guilt in him. They cried out, Take him away! Take him away! Crucify him! And Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priest answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then he handed him over to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus, carrying the cross himself, and he went out to what is called the place of the skull, and he wrote Golgotha. Let us pray. Lord, grant us strength and purpose that we may faithfully bear our crosses each day. Lord Jesus, help us walk in your steps. Oh, how sad and sore distress with that mother highly blessed of the soul begotten one. The eighth station. Jesus is helped by Simon the Cyrene to carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. They pressed into the service of passerby Simon the Cyrene, who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. Let us pray. Lord, grant us willing spirits that we may be your instruments on earth. Lord Jesus, help us walk in your steps. Make me feel as thou hast felt. Make my soul to glow and melt. With the love of Christ, my Lord. The ninth station, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A large crowd of people followed Jesus, including many women who mourned and lamented him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep instead for yourselves and for your children, for indeed the days are coming when people will say, Blessed are the barren, the wombs that never bore, and the breasts that never nursed. At that time, People will say to the mountains, fall upon us and to the hills, cover us. For if these things are done when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Let us pray. Lord, grant us gentle spirits that we may comfort those who mourn. Lord Jesus, help us walk in your steps. Let me share with thee his pain who for all my sins was slain, who for me in torment died. The tenth station. Jesus is nailed to the cross and crucified. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When they came to a place called a skull, they nailed him to the cross and crucified him, and the criminals were there, one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Let us pray. Lord, grant us merciful hearts that we may bring your reconciliation and forgiveness to all. Lord Jesus, help us walk in your steps. Christ above in torment hangs, she beneath beholds the pangs of her dying glorious Son. The eleventh station, Jesus promises his kingdom to the good thief. We praise you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. 
Now one of the criminals hanging there reviled Jesus, saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. The other, however, rebuking him, said in reply, Have you no fear of God, for you are subject to the same condemnation? And indeed, we have been condemned justly, for the sentence we receive corresponds to our crimes. But this man has done nothing criminal. And then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus replied, Amen, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Let us pray. Lord, grant us perseverance that we may never stop seeking you. Across her station keeping stood the mournful mother weeping. Close to Jesus to the last. The 12th station. Jesus speaks to his mother and the disciple John. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciples there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. And then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. Let us pray. Lord, grant us constancy that we may be willing to stand by those in need. Lord Jesus, help us walk in your steps. For the sins of his own nation saw him hang in desolation till his spirit forth he sent. The 13th station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. It was now about noon and darkness came over the whole world until three in the afternoon because of an eclipse of the sun. Then the veil of the temple was torn down the middle and Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And when he had said this, he breathed the last. Let us pray. Lord, grant us trust in you that when our time on earth is ended, our spirits may come to you without delay. Lord Jesus, help us walk in your steps. Virgin of all virgins blessed, listen to my fond request. Let me share thy grief divine. The 14th station. Jesus is placed in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was himself a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be handed over. Taking the body, Jesus wrapped it in clean linen and laid it in his new tomb that he had hewn in the rock. Then he rolled the huge stone across the entrance of the tomb and departed. Let us pray. Lord, grant us your compassion that we may always provide for those in need. Lord Jesus, help us walk in your steps. Lord Jesus Christ, your passion and death is the sacrifice that unites heaven and earth and reconciles all people to you. May we who have faithfully reflected on these mysteries follow in your steps and so come to share your glory in heaven. And may the Lord bless you, protect you from all evil, and bring you to everlasting life. Amen.